This is called our Drive for Men's Health. You know, we really look forward to having local drivers or champions, and we're looking forward to the Cleveland Clinic as being a partner here uh, to promote men's health uh, uh, awareness uh, and interest. And uh, we look forward to many more years of um, collaboration and doing some fun events. This is a wonderful event that includes a drive across the country, 6,000 miles in 10 days, which is stopping at 15 major medical centers and across the country again to improve awareness about uh, men's health. Thank you for allowing me to be part of this great event and thanks for making Cleveland Clinic part of your, one of your pit stops. I, I was asked to talk a little bit about PSA screening for prostate cancer and uh, some sources will have you believe that prostate cancer maybe isn't that dangerous. Uh, it's prostate cancer is slow growing, uh, not all men who have prostate cancer die of prostate cancer, uh, but on the contrary, prostate cancer is the most common non-cutaneous cancer in men. Prostate cancer cells do need testosterone to grow. However, they only need a little bit. And the amount of testosterone in a typical man we see who has a low testosterone value in their blood is more than enough for any prostate cancer cell in their body. We now have a mountain of data suggesting that men with previously treated prostate cancer, it's completely safe to treat them with testosterone. There's even one study showing men with untreated prostate cancer, if they're treated with testosterone, it doesn't grow, it doesn't spread. There's many controversies when it comes to prostate cancer screening, but when there's a, a strong family history, we in urology still strongly believe that these, these patients should get screened probably about age 40 or 45 with a PSA and a, a digital rectal exam. African American men, we believe, should start screening at the age of 40. Again, there's some controversy, um, even without the strong family history, just because of race. Um, and again, the, the frequency of the screening, I think some of the recommendations now are right every 18 months to two years, it really varies. If you get treated with testosterone, you may feel a bit an energy boost, you may build up some muscle, but that's not treating a disease, and certainly that's not a way to treat depression. Uh, most men with erectile dysfunction who are older and have vascular risk factors, testosterone is gonna do nothing to give them a harder erection. It, it, it'll be caused by vascular issues. But to be perfectly honest, I am just now, as I turned a big 5-0 last year, addressing my health. I am the one in the family who always takes care of everyone else. I have neglected myself. So uh, yeah, I have resisted because I, mean, I just wait till something goes wrong and I go get it fixed and keep it moving. We don't have a gynecologist, all men should have a urologist. It's new to me, I'm mourning. So um, I want to live. You know, I mean, I'm living, but I want to live. So I want to be proactive instead of reactive.